Welcome back everyone to another week of Minecraft Meditations. Today we are looking at the story of Jesus praying in the Garden of Gethsemane. Without further ado, let's jump into today's story. Off to the content house we go. So, we are now into week three. This week we are looking at the story of Jesus praying in the Garden in Luke 22, 39 to 46. And without further ado, let's enter. Uh, today we we're just focusing on Luke 22:45, but as always, I'm going to read the entire scripture just to give us some context. So, bear with me. Let's read. Jesus left and made his way to the Mount of Olives, as was Mount of Olives, as was his custom, and the disciples followed him. When he arrived, he said to them, "Pray that you won't give in to temptation." And he withdrew from them about a stone's throw and knelt down and prayed. He said, Father, if it is your will, take this cup of suffering from me. However, not my will, but your will must be done. Then a heavenly angel appeared to him and strengthened him. And he was in anguish and prayed even more earnestly. His sweats became like drops of blood falling on the ground. When he got up from praying, he went to his disciples. He found them asleep, overcome by grief. He said to them, Why are you sleeping? Get up and pray so you don't give in to temptation. So, as I mentioned, we are only focusing on this set of scripture. When he got up from praying, he went to the disciples and he found them asleep, overcome by grief. And it made me think. There's an obvious part to this story, but I'm focusing on something else. Again, verse 45 talks about a very emotional part of all this. I mean, just to give some context, we talked about the Last Supper last week, and that now they're on their way to rest, and shortly after they would meet the betrayer Judas, and Jesus would be arrested. So emotions are running high is the least I could actually say. So Jesus went to pray at, on the Mount of Olives, as he normally did, but his disciples had followed him, and Jesus, being scared, told his disciples to stay awake, be with him, fight the urge to sleep. And he wanted him to watch his back and pray with him about what Jesus was going through. And listen to Jesus' prayer in verse 42. Father, if it's your will, take this cup of suffering away from me. He's asking God to not let him go through this. And think about it. Jesus was terrified. He's still fully human. And I say, you might think, what's Jesus scared for? You know, why would Jesus be scared? He has all these godly powers. Doesn't he know this was the plan? Doesn't he know what's tied up for? Some of those answers I could say yes, but we're forgetting a crucial point. Jesus is still fully human. Jesus gets scared like you and I do. He got anxious like you and I do. I mean, it says his sweat became like drops of blood. I mean, this is utter fear and terror going through Jesus right now. But thankfully, Jesus received the strength from the angel that was sent from heaven. He was able to calm and center himself and understand... God's overall plan, and you follow through with it. But he returned to his disciples, found, so, so, bleh, found sound asleep, and they were dealing with their own grief just as much as Jesus was. But instead of praying to God, he rested. So, I made me think. Like it's safe to say, I think we've endured a lot of grief over sel our, ourselves over the past year. Um, through schools being closed, church activities being moved online, our social life being limited to what we can do behind a screen mostly, among other worldly issues like the racial injustices, political turmoil, economic issues, and more. We've dealt with our fair share of grief. And we're shown two different ways to deal with it. We can both pray or rest. Now, I'm not saying one is more important than the other because both show positive cases of rest by prayer we rest our minds we get to we get what's going through our heads out and give it to God to handle and now we are able to reclaim that space full, that was taken full of chaos and yelling and replace it with the peace and quiet that God gives we give it to God and let him handle it and all that's required of us is to is to regain our strength and wait for God to guide us on what we need to do next by resting, 
We rest our bodies. Believe it or not, mental health related issues such as grief can take a physical toll on our bodies. We may be dealing with increased bouts of anxiety and depression, fatigue, restlessness, lack of motivation, lack of excitement, and other symptoms. Sleep is a great way to let our bodies just reset and strengthen back up to a point where we can physically feel good. I'm not saying either form, prayer or rest, is an overnight fix to deal with all that. But they are great ways to listen to God and to listen to our bodies and to recognize that we may be needing something that we haven't been giving it. So I challenge you this week to listen to your bodies and to God and to see what they need to say. And remember, trick question, you can choose both. So let us go to God in prayer at our prayer station. Father God, we give you the ability, we thank you for the ability to rest. We learned today that rest can come in many forms, either in mental rest via prayer or in physical rest via sleep. And it's hard to know which to do or even just to do it to start with. But we come to you asking for that discernment. Help us to stop and talk to you about the problems going on in our lives. Help us to rest when we feel tired and overworked and anxious and a whole lot more. Lord, we know you don't cause these things, but you, we know you are the answer that we need to overcome it. We lift this to your name in prayer. Amen. And that is it for week three. We will see you back for week four of Minecraft Meditations. And as always, stay blessed.